Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and today I am here to explain to you my trip to San Diego. So just a couple of weeks ago, I had the opportunity to go down to San Diego for a little while and I went to visit my dad if I think I've mentioned it plenty of times on this channel, but if you don't already know, I'm actually from San Diego and a majority of my family lives up in Washington state, but my dad does still live in San Diego. He's currently working there. So him and I are the closest together and so every now and then I do try to visit him. It's been difficult because of the pandemic and also just because I work and realistically getting down to San Diego can take three hours or so from Los Angeles but obviously family is important and I want to make sure that I can see him and we can hang out whenever possible. So I thought that that weekend that I decided to go would be the perfect weekend and I wanted to kind of recap what it is that we got to do. So here is what we did that weekend. First off I left LA on Friday just after work. I generally get off work around 5 p.m. and I left right after work. I did hit quite a bit of traffic and for this trip I did decide to bring P. P absolutely loves my dad and my dad also has a dog named Margie and P and Margie get along really well. Margie is like a little chihuahua mix. I don't really know what she's mixed with but she's absolutely adorable and she also has outlived dogs and owners, several dogs and an owner and she's just living her best life. She's just like the funniest. I don't know. I just, she's just so great. So it's always nice to see that P and her get along really well because then they both have another dog to play with and sometimes P can get scared. So she's smaller and he loves her. So it was great. But anyway, I got to my dad's house and we ended up just really hanging out. It was kind of late-ish. My dad tends to go to bed early because he wakes up early. He tends to wake up around like 4.30 or 5 every morning. But I got to to San Diego probably around eight or so I want to say and so we just kind of hung out caught up a little bit and that was pretty much it the next morning I woke up with my dad around five and again he typically gets up pretty early so I normally get up at six by myself but because he was already up I just woke up and normally what we would do is we would take the dogs on a walk but Margie is just getting so old that she doesn't really go on walks as much anymore she just kind of goes outside when she needs to to release some energy. So I took P for a pretty brief walk, but the whole day was gonna be spent with P. So you'll get, get to see that. We had a whole day kind of planned out. We were initially going to go over to an inspection that my dad had to do and then go to breakfast and then go to the beach. But we had to flip some things around. So we went to breakfast first and we went to Broken Yoke, which is one of our absolute favorite places to go whenever we're in San Diego. And then after Broken Yoke, we went over to the inspection and I just haven't been to an inspection with my dad in forever. Seriously, it's just been so long. I used to always go to his inspections when I was much younger. I used to have my own like pink hard hat. I don't know if I have any of those photos, but if I do, I'll post one here. I used to just tag along with him and I would sell Girl Scout cookies in his office. I would go to so many inspections and I would hang out with my dad pretty often during the weekdays. And every time right before school, I would just go to his office and go to some inspections. So it was really fun to get to see my dad back in his element just because I haven't been with him in probably like wow I don't know probably 15 years or so it's been a really long time so it was just cool to to get to say hi and I don't know see see what it was like again and then after that we went to go pick up P and we went to Ocean Beach and they actually have a dog beach so P grew up in the area near the dog beach he used to go to this dog beach every single day and he absolutely loves it so it was a really fun time to bring him back because the moment that he entered this area he kind of started whining a little bit in the car because I think he recognized the area he was in and then we had to park a little bit far so we got to walk him to the beach and he got to like re-see the whole scene essentially so that was really fun and then he just played he had his tennis ball and his frisbee and he got a chance to to play with other dogs and the beach used to be my dad and I's absolute favorite pastime when I was younger we would cut up watermelon and go to the beach and it was just so funny because when we were getting prepared picking up pee and getting ready to you know get our bathing suits on and everything my dad was like should I cut some watermelon and it was just like again brings me back to before when we would go to the beach all of the time and of course I said yes so we got watermelon 
and we went over to the beach and hung out. So after the beach, I personally was so dead. I was dead tired because I had woken up with my dad at 5 a.m., which again, I'm just not used to. I'm used to waking up at around six and as dumb as it sounds, I know it's only an hour difference, but it exhausted me. So I just hung out, laid low at my dad's house and we watched some movies and I edited a video while doing that. And then the dogs just kind of like played and for a while, P was absolutely passed out like he wouldn't move at all. So we watched two movies. We watched uh, Brightburn Boy, which my dad had never seen before. And I thought I hadn't, but I must have because I knew everything that was gonna happen. So I have no idea when I saw it before or who I saw it with, but I guess I've seen it already, but it was really good. I really enjoyed it. And then we also watched, I don't remember what the movie was called. It was like, it was an imposter, but it was something like that. And basically it was this weird movie about cockroaches turning into humans so they could like look like humans and then they would attack the humans and consume them essentially. It was a really weird movie. It was an older movie. And again, I can't remember the name of it. It was something like Imposter. Maybe it was like Mimic or something like that. But it was so weird. And the whole time my dad and I were like, what is going on? And it was kind of disgusting just because you like the cockroaches kept like shape-shifting essentially, but it was just really funny to watch and just an interesting movie overall, I guess. So that was that. At this point, P was just absolutely dead. So there was no trying to get him to do anything. He just laid down for the rest of the night. So I tucked him in and I just let him go to sleep and I was pretty dead as well. But my dad and I started watching a Padre game and I apparently fell asleep to that because I woke up to the TV off and I was like confused as to where I was, but I yeah, I guess I, I fell asleep to watching the game. Woke up the next morning around 5 a.m. once again, and I got up and I worked out for a bit just to, I like to try to keep my schedule as much as possible. So since my dad was just kind of like hanging around the house and having coffee anyway, I figured I might as well work out. So I was going to be leaving. I was, it was now Sunday and I was going to be leaving that morning and I wanted to leave sort of early-ish because I wanted to make sure that I beat any traffic. Again, if you hit traffic coming and going between LA and San Diego, Diego, it can be at least three hours. So I wanted to make sure I beat that obviously, but P had so much energy now because he had slept for so long. So my dad suggested that we go over to this little lake reservoir hiking trail type area that's nearby his house. And apparently there was a Kumeyaay Lake in that area. So we decided we were gonna walk around there. He said that when my mom still lived in San Diego, they used to walk down that path all of the time and it was one of their favorites. So we figured why not? It was on the way to the freeway anyway. So we walked around and we found this one area of this lake that was just absolutely beautiful and somehow him and my mom had never come across this area so we were just taking a bunch of pictures and videos and it was just so gorgeous and like the perfect walk too we took margie just to try to get her to walk and we could go probably 20 minutes we went 10 minutes and 10 minutes back out and she was just dead at a point she just like was walking so slowly and then we had to eventually carry her because she just couldn't do it anymore, but she got her workout in. And to my dad's suggestion, it really did knock P out once again. He had so much fun just even walking those 20 minutes. And so he just laid down the whole time that we went home. He's been really loving his crate that's fairly new and we've been using that in the car as well as at home and he's just been loving it at home it just stays open so he can kind of come and go whenever he wants and then in the car obviously it stays closed and I've been trying to crate train him because I want him to if he has to go on any kind of trip or anything like that to feel comfortable in the crate and to not feel like oh my god I'm trapped so yeah he's been really loving it he just laid down I just straight shot up to LA and I only stopped once for some coffee at Starbucks and that was pretty much it so that was my trip to San Diego it was honestly so much fun I feel like every time I go back to San Diego I remember why it was so cool because as a teenager growing up there I always wanted to get out and I was like really over San Diego and I think a lot of people feel that way about their hometowns where they're ready to get out and they just don't want to be there anymore and I think honestly it has a lot to do with the people that we're surrounded by or feeling like we can't drive to wherever we want to go or have our own lives because 
because we live with our families, which is nothing bad about our family. It's just like sometimes it feels restricting when you're growing up and you're becoming an adult. So it was really fun to visit again. And every time I visit, I remember why it's such a cool city and why so many people love it and want to visit and live there. So I feel really lucky every time I go. And it just was so nice to get to see my dad again. And my dad is actually driving up to Washington State to visit my family. So he's going to be stopping by in Los Angeles on the way and I'll get to see him again this upcoming weekend, which I'm really excited about. So that'll be a lot of fun as well. And that was my whole trip. I hope you guys enjoyed that little story. Again, I didn't like vlog in the moment just because I wanted to enjoy time with my dad, but I thought these little video snippet type ideas, kind of like what I did with P's birthday and here, is a good way to be in the moment, but also get to show you guys what I'm doing because it's not as fun to just hear about it. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys are having a really great weekend. If you guys have any suggestions for any true crime stories or any Saturday videos, feel free to leave them in the comments below or for the true crime stories. I also have a Google form. I think that's all I got for you guys this week. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye guys.